Hello guys, so in this lecture I'll be showing you guys how to get a developer API key so then you're able to post tweets programmatic, pr programmatically using Python. So here's my Twitter account that I've created, and it's a bot account that I just made in like 20 seconds that we're going to be using for this course. So now that I have it created, I'm just going to go to developer.twitter.com to apply to be a developer so that I can get an access token, or what is also known as an API key. So once you would be on here, it would show um, a sign up, apply now, and so all you have to do is apply and tell like uh, what you are. So I put in I'm a, I was a teacher and I was teaching YouTube or through uh, videos. So um, you would just put in like whether you're a student or a hobbyist or something like that. And then you would just hit the apply button. And then once you get accepted, if you get accepted, hopefully you do, then you should be able to see this whole dashboard and everything. So I'm just going to go to my dashboard to show everything. So you can see all of your data on the dashboard of the Twitter developer website. And this basically just tells you like your limits and how close you are for certain stuff. And so to get our key, we just have to go to our apps. And I've already created this app, which is tutorial word of the day bot. Okay. So to make this, let me just delete this and then let's make a new one. So we'll call this tutorial word of the day bot because we're going to be making a word of the day bot in this course. So a tutorial word of the day, day bot and uh, it posts a tweet every day with a new a new word and its definition. Okay, you could probably copy this for the we don't um for our website URL. I'll just put it in my YouTube. And then we can go down here. Um and followers or no we will be using the Twitter API to post to programmatically post these tweets. I don't think that this is recognized. Yeah. And then you just have to create create as long as it lets me create this. Okay, yeah, it's created. So then we can see all of the data about our application. And to get an API key, you just go to keys and tokens and you should see all of your API keys. So you would copy these and put it into the file once we start getting into the actual code in the next part of this course. So that's it for this lecture, and I hope you watch the next one.